Hey, comic book community, Lombok Love Affair here. I have an unboxing that is very much a theme. Uh, so I am a huge fan of the series from Boom Studios called Something is Killing the Children. I've been a fan since the first issue. I tried it out. I bought the Jenny Frizen Virgin cover, cover B, and have just picked it up every month since then. I didn't realize it was such a, a phenomenon with collectors until recently. And I've been really uh, trying to mass collect a lot of the um, variant covers and the different printings, um, mostly for my own benefit. I, I think um, the, the art on those covers are really killer for the most part. Um, and I just, I just love uh, this chance to collect something. Uh, you know, we all have our, our things in terms of what we're collecting, variant covers, modern keys, whatever it might be. So um, I have three books. Uh, that are variant covers for something is something is killing the children, uh, and I'm excited for every one of these uh, uh, to unbox. I got these off of eBay. Um, this one though has a story, and anyone who saw me on Instagram knows uh, it may remember this. So um, I had reached out to this seller, which is a store in Texas, and said, "Hey, you. This is the the." the Decal uh, 1 in 25 variant cover, and I think it's issue 7, 7 or 8. I'll, we'll find out soon. Um, and I reached out and said, you know, because this, this book is, is um, a dark cover. A lot of spine ticks could happen. I really wanted a near mint one if I'm going to be spending some money. And so I asked, and it said near mint. The photos were of the book in plastic. And so uh, the question was, do you have other pictures or can you at least describe? Actually, I think I only asked if they could describe the book. You know, could you tell me if I'm missing anything from the pictures? It's in the bag. How can you see this? Like, how can any buyer uh, reasonably um, purchase this? Uh, and so uh, they wrote back and said, it is near mint and uh, we can't take any other pictures. And I was like, okay, that's a little rude. I was a little like, do you really want to sell this book? So I, I decided, well, let me lowball an offer to them. And a day later, they accepted it. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll buy it. There are returns and I can get this return, no problem, and buy another copy if, if need be. Um, let's see if it's near mint. So your guess is as good as mine right now. Um, I am a little worried because the, uh, the, the uh, box is a little dented there uh, and a little bit on the inside. So uh, open it up, it looks okay, looks okay. I did um, uh, a little of the leg work to open this up already. It's but tighter in there than any book I've received. So they packed it in an oversized um, magazine uh, envelope or something where's the there it is there's the uh, flap it's a little bit like Fort Knox which I guess is good All right here's the book right yeah it's a virgin cover and is it really near mint it looks to be there's maybe one or two non spine non color breaking spine ticks but this is a really cool copy uh this this is a killer i mean the mylar is probably reflecting too much so apologize for that um there's some reflection but really cool um erica slaughter cover um virgin cover it's really dark too so hopefully this conveys on the video Something is Killing the Children, number seven, I believe. And if I'm not correct, I will make sure it says so in the bottom. Um, but it's a virgin cover, so that's really sweet. Uh, some of these variant covers are really um, beautiful for this series. So those are the ones I'm collecting because uh, those of you that know me, I collect sometimes just for the art, for the. but I do love this series, so it's an added benefit. So this is a time when a leap of faith took... Um, uh, or showed some reward. Um, so I, I, I wasn't going to pay for it because I was ticked off about how they responded to me uh, on eBay. Uh, but then in the end, um, 
I, I got an off, I offered them more, less than, uh, I was offered them like 50 or so dollars less than they were asking and they accepted. So, um, bonus, uh, not bad. So that's one. And that's a hard to find one. That's probably one of the rarer, um, something that are, are kill, is killing the children issues. This one I'm excited about. Uh, if I can get it out of the priority envelope. I've already opened the package, but it doesn't look like it's budging. All right, lots more tape. Oh, a free priority upgrade. I didn't realize that. Um, appreciate that for the seller. Um, nice of them. This book is jammed in with backing boards and, and lots of different ones, so I appreciate that. This one does not show up on eBay hardly at all these days, and it's a beautiful cover. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Something is killing the children. Virgin, again, variant. So now I'm forgetting the, the number, and I think it's... um. Is this six? This might be six. Uh, six or seven. So that decal is, I think, eight. Um, but black and white. So there's a color version of this. And I'll make another video showing the other ones I picked up, but this is just an unboxing. But this one is much harder to find. It's got the blood on the chainsaw. How, how killer is that? Very cool. So excited about that. I think that's near mint. Yep. Well, I always look at the spine. The spine is what I worry about. Corners are, you know, bends are easy to depict um, or to, to, to check out, but, you know, checking out the spine, is it, is it, you know, funked up? So, so far good. Made some good choices. I feel like there's more books in here, but it's all just backing boards. Uh, one final box. I forget which one. This, oh, I know which one this is. Uh, this is an issue number one, but it's not just any issue number one. Well, they packaged it really nicely. People take notice. There's several different covers for number one. There's the cover A, which is the, oh, this is a, a, a Gemini. <laughs> so I have to open this now. There's, um, there's the, the blue woods cover. There is the Jenny Frizen, uh, Virgin cover, which I don't know if it has any ratio to it. It's just one that people clamored to. It was a variant cover. Um, and then there's various printings. And then there's a couple of different um, convention exclusives. So uh, there, oh good, there's a top loader on this. It's nice. Always nice when that happens. Um, and I've been looking at those because those are hard, hard to find. Um, they don't come up affordable too often. And I had a couple offers for, for purchasing on eBay. And then this one popped up on, on the night um, and that I was looking. And it was much lower than the counter offers that were given to me by the, the owners. So the decision was really easy to make. Um, so I'm going to show you the back first because I want to see the front. Oh, that's not the back. <laughs> There's two boards in there. Um, you'll see why I thought it was the back in a minute. So this is the San Diego Comic-Con variant. Or, or no, I'm sorry, New York Comic-Con variant. I'm going to be careful because this that was the bag. Okay, here we go. This is a pure white or gray, I guess. You could call this a sketch or a black and white version of number one. Um, and then just has a little indent. I knew that going in, but when you have a gray or a white cover, it's hard to break color on that. I got a good deal on it. Uh, and let me show you without, without messing up my fingerprints. Um, the back, it's the con exclusive. New York Comic Con right there. So the backs are always very interesting to these books. But I love the gray, black, and white covers. Super cool. Just really awesome haul here. Uh, something that's killing the children, number one. 
And then we got the Virgin covers of the other issues. Very happy. They, they, they turned out in decent condition. Um, a, more than decent condition, I should say. And uh, I, I, these are all amazing Virgin, you know, covers. So, yeah, I guess I didn't realize that I, I had all Virgin uh, issues, but that I do. So let um, me know if you're uh, collecting any of these. Um, and, and let me know uh, what you think of the story, because I, I think it's really cool. Um, Boom Studios has a potential deal with, or has a deal with Netflix, I believe. So there's a lot of um, speculation when this series first came out that this might be one that they put on Netflix. Not necessarily why I'm collecting it. I, that was maybe what piqued my interest when I first uh, started reading it. But the story is really cool. It's a fast read, uh, but I, I love horror uh, in general. Uh, the genre, <laughs> not the people. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and so, uh, well, and anyway, um, we digress. Here we go. So uh, Something is Killing the Children uh, is a great series. So check it out. Get the trades. Uh, see, what, see what you think of it. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. So I'll, I'll probably do some more um, uh, comic haul videos showing Something is Killing the Children because I'm really in, on that kick right now. But I have plenty of other stuff to show you, too. So thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you next time. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.